Hello everybody, it's Linda and uh, I just wanted to invite you to join me in making uh, mail art. So what's mail art? Well, to me, mail art is decorating a postcard or an envelope and sending it to somebody you love. So um, I've decorated a craft envelope like this and also a little on the inside here and i plan to write a message to a friend and send this and you can see that i've left some room here to write their address and i can write my own address here on this side somewhere here or whatever so um yeah i just thought i'd share with you how i made it i've been using these a little bit long envelopes to create these uh mail art thingies <laughs> here is one with a winter team theme here is one with a halloween theme here is one with a summer theme and here is just a spring one and uh, i have decorated it on the front and on the back just remember that uh, the post office or yourself you'll put uh, stamps on your envelope so just leave some room to, to put the stamp and uh, I don't know about you but if somebody sent me an envelope that they had decorated themselves and wrote me um, a happy note I would be like it would make my day probably my week <laughs> even this is also a really fun way to to use your scraps uh, but first I just run quickly through the, the material that I used so like I said just a craft envelope plain and then I used gesso white gesso and I covered bits and pieces or uh, of this with gesso and then I used distress inks vintage photo and crushed olive and I've used uh, some Japanese masking tape this is all masking tape here and this is a stamp this is a stamp and this is a stamp and this one and the stamps are from I think pink paisley and I just love that bee stamp and you find it again here and this is a piece of vellum uh, from the die cut collection of K and Company Flora and Fauna I think it's called I can never remember the name of that collection and uh, I used also some scrap of paper from that collection to create this to collage this uh, mail art envelope and uh, like i said in my previous tutorial on uh, how to decorate your glassine bags uh, i just want you to keep in the back of your mind when you make this that you anchor all your embellishments i explained this uh, in part one of the four part video for my glassine bags so i'll just link to that if you need some more information on the anchoring business <laughs> most of you if you've seen my previous video don't want me to talk about it again ever <laughs> because i was going on and on and on about it so you can see i've got a craft envelope because a craft envelope will show up much better on this um, white surface and I'll just start messing with it and uh, putting down some some paints and stuff. So I use uh, gesso or gesso, and uh, I think it's gesso. And my fingers. Okay, so I'm doing this the messy way because I like messy. Okay, and I don't want to cover it completely. If you want to cover it completely, that's up to you, but I just want parts of it covered. Okay, so I'm good. I want to use my Lindy's um, Starburst spray. You don't have to use spray. 
or anything for that matter. You can you don't have to use paint, you can use inks, whatever you prefer. So yay, color, shimmer. That's good. Have to dry it. Yeah, now it's dry. So I'll just use some of my distress ink. It's my crushed olive. I'm using these colors because oops, I know they're going to match my papers. And again, this is not planned, this is random, and this is fun, and this is playing. So don't be afraid, don't think about, oh, but can be ugly or make mistakes or something. This is supposed to be fun, so don't take it too serious. Okay, I also want some of this. Um, vintage photo. I really love this. I love playing with inks and paints and getting messy. So, uh, this envelope is going to travel and, uh, I have glued down several pieces of paper and uh, masking tape and, tape and stuff and uh, so I want to just coat it with a protective layer of um, like gel medium and uh, you can use golden gel medium this is extra heavy you don't need extra heavy uh, heavy is plenty or uh, a softer gel and um, you can use Mod Podge like the Amsterdam gel mediums, any kind of a gel medium uh, will protect your surface. And for that, I'm not going to use my fingers, I'm going to use a brush. And I don't want uh, the finish to be too glossy, so I'm using matte mod touch for this. And you will want to shove a paper in so that you don't glue it shut just try to cover it evenly and make sure that your distress inks are completely dry before you do this or they will smear beyond belief. And if something is not glued all down, then you can glue the, the rest down with the Mod Podge here, because it acts as a glue as well as a sealer. So this is my finished art envelope, and now I'll just make a card, or uh, just write a note, and send it to somebody. And hopefully it will make them happy. So thanks a lot for following my tutorial and I really hope that you'll give it a go and make uh, an envelope or two and send them to somebody you love and make their day. <laughs> so take care everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.